all men are pond scum. One of my friends said that to me two days ago related to her dating experience. Imagine the emotional state someone has to be in to say those words, all men are pond scum. I mean, she was fed up and then she went on a, a tirade of telling me about three different scenarios where a guy had asked her out, gotten her phone number, and then not called. And then they exchanged numbers, so she texted him, and he was like, oh, I've been really busy, da, 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 but let's totally go out, and then never followed up. So she texted him back, hey, Mr. Busy Pants, where are you? And he's like, oh, da, 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 another excuse not followed up, and then she learns later that he's back together with his old girlfriend. Three different times in the last three weeks, this happened to her, that a guy asks for her number, gets really hot, totally flirting with her, says, I'll take you out, and then doesn't follow up. And she was like, I'm done. All men are pond scum. Here's one of the challenges when it comes to dating, is not dragging past experiences into your future and shaping who you are. Because this woman was so fed up, she's like, you know, I'll date, but I'm just gonna be super guarded now. One of the challenges is when you're super guarded, when you're in this toxic state of negativity, when the guy that you want does come around, you're not the woman that he wants to be with. No guy who's super successful, who has lots of options, wants to be with someone who's jaded and cynical. So what can you do to protect yourself? The first is to realize this. Number one, the guys who are flaky and asking a lot of people out do 90% of the asking. So if there are a lot of guys who are asking you out and don't follow up, that is not all men. When you hear yourself say the words, all men are flakes or all men are pond scum or all men are like this, catch yourself. Interrupt that thought, interrupt that pattern and say, you know what? There are a group of men who are pond scum, a group of men who are flaky. Reduce it to a group because it's truly all it is. There are a ton of great men. And when you relegate it to all men are this way, then guess what your experience becomes? All of your experiences become guys who are in harmony with what you say is out there. Guys who are in harmony with the vision and the belief that you're holding. So the first thing to do is to compartmentalize, is to put some of the men I'm meeting are like this because those kind of men are doing 90% of the approaching. Great guys are holding back. They're seeing, you know, is this a woman that I, I actually want to approach? The second thing that you can do is just to manage your energy. Don't give away your power by putting all of your hopes and expectations in someone that's asking you out. Know confidently with his positive expectation that your man is showing up and that if someone asks you out, you're just holding the state of discovery, letting this person reveal themselves to you through their actions. If they follow up, they call you, they start showing themselves to you by doing what it is that they say, then they're revealing themselves as a quality guy. If they don't, they're not, no big deal. Next, and you're just letting like water off a duck's pack. Don't carry that with you and allow it to drag you down into a negative cycle of results because what happens is when you get in that negative state, you start attracting those guys like bees to honey. You become magnetic for more negative experiences like that. So it's really important that you hold your energy in a state of positive expectation. If those lame guys that are pond scum approach you, never call, water off a duck's back because you know your man is on his way to you right now. I know it is tough. I know it is a challenge, but when your man arrives, you're going to be in a much better state if you're positive, if you're fresh, if you're open and available, rather than if you're cynical, jaded, and closed off. So I hope this helps you. As always, there's links below this video for more resources to serve you. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can get the latest videos, and I look forward to seeing you soon.